Hello friends, today I am going to tell you one very interesting interview question that is how to design a generic priority encoder in Verilog. So usually we know how to design a priority encoder in Verilog having fixed number of inputs but here the question is generic priority encoder. So let us see what is generic priority encoder. So in a generic priority encoder, it will always have two raised to power n bits. That means the input of a generic priority encoder will always be a multiple of two. It can be two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and so on. And according to the input, we will have n bit output along with the valid signal. So basically, a priority encoder, all the inputs have a uh, fixed priority, positional priority. Now let's take an example. Suppose we have four bit input d0, d1, d2, d3 which is 2 raised to power 2. Now it will have 2 bits as an output that is y1 and y0 along with the valid signal v. So here in this priority encoder we want to design this priority encoder for d3 as a highest priority bit. After D3, D2 is a priority bit, then D1 and the least priority bit is D0. So now let's consider D3 is 1 and irrespective of the status of D0 to D2 bits, priority encoder will report 1 1. 1 1 means at the third bit we have a value 1 along with the valid signal. Now if D3 is 0, D2 is 1 and we don't care the status of D0 and D1, at the output we will report index 2 along with the valid signal high. Now if both D0 and D3 are 0 and D1 is high, so at the output we will report 0, 1. That means index number 1, that is D1 is high. So if all the 3 are 0, D1 to D3 and D0 is 1, then at the output we will report 0, 0 with valid bit high. Now if there is no input bit, has a logic high value so here although it will be it can be anything but valid will be zero in a design usually we put here y1 and y0 as zero zero but valid will be zero in this case that means there is no input that is valid now let us see how to design it you can pause my video here and you can take your time. You can try to design it. And otherwise I am going to explain you how we design it. So I already have written this code and even you can get the same code uh, from the description below. Maybe you can get the link from the description. So this is generic priority encoder module name. It has A as an input. P is the output along with the valid signal. So now as this is the generic priority encoder, so I am considering n as a parameter so 
n is a 4. Now input a will be n minus 1a. <coughs> and output will be c log 2n minus 1 colon 0. So this is c log 2 is a system task and c log 2 of 4 will be 2, 2 minus 1 will be 1 down to 0. That means 2 bits as an output. Which indicates the high priority index and where it is the output. Now how we write the code, we will use a simple always block. So, firstly P will be 0 and value will be 0. Now, there is a for loop which, in which I variable varies from 0 to N. And it will increment by 1. So firstly it checks if ai is equal to 1. So firstly i will be 0. So firstly a0 if it is high. Then it will say p is equal to 0 and valid is equal to 1. But at the same time when the loop increments i is equal to 1. If a i is equal to 1 then p will become 1. Now previously p was 0 now it will become 1 because 0 is less priority bit than d1. I mean then a1 value bit will remain high now again our logic checks oh if i, is, I will be 2 and a2 if it is high then p will become 2 and at the last i will be equal to 3 if a3 is high then p will become 3 and value will be high because the uh, a3 is the highest priority bit and this is a combinational logic okay and if none of the bit is 1 so then p will be 0 and value will be 0 so we have to specify this condition. So we can use this code in any of the simulators, but I will show you the simulation in a Vivado simulator. So here is a simulation waveform of our code. So firstly I have given the input as one. So one means um, so, uh, zeroth uh, index is high at the input. So at the output, uh, we are getting zero as an index. That means a zero is high, along with the valid signal as high. So when we give input as two, two means a one bit is high. So at the output, we are getting index as 1 along with the valid signal. Similarly when we have given a2 as high so we are getting index 2 at the output. So when we are giving a3 as high so we are getting index 3 at the output along with the valid signal. Okay. Now here I have given one input uh, D3 as high and uh, uh, I mean A3 as high and A0 as high. As we know uh, A3 is a high priority bit so in index we are getting 3 only. 
so here three continues along with the wallet viewers if you liked my video please share it with your friends press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and for notification you can press the bell icon thank you so much